Most new former Cardinal slugger Chris Duncan for his skill with the bat or his wit behind the microphone, but he was also a family man and a faithful friend. Duncan passed away Friday after a long battle with cancer. Chris Davis spoke with one of the people who knew him best, an old friend and teammate. Brad Thompson was sitting in this same seat Friday when he got the call. He gave me the news and uh, it was awful. News that he knew deep down would come one day, but not the kind you ever want to believe. You never want to hear it. You're never prepared for it. We, we knew the battle that Chris uh, w was going through. Uh, we knew that the health had deteriorated quite a bit, but you just figured if anybody was going to do it, you know, it was going to be done. Chris Duncan and Thompson joined the Cardinals the same year, 2005. They were closer than two birds on a bat. Brad says he loved watching his friends succeed. I hadn't seen anybody play the game as hard as he played it, and to me, that was a great example of like what it's all about. Whether that's Duncan's 22 home runs his rookie season, and a towering drive. winning a world championship in 2006, <laughs> or landing a joke in the dugout. If you heard laughter in the clubhouse, if you heard people cutting it up, you knew Dunk was right in the middle of it. They both left the Redbirds around the same time, too, and traded in their cleats for a microphone. He says Chris's unique style was in a league of his own. But the way he looked at stuff and, and the way that he, he talked about it just brought stuff to life. And, um, you know, I, I think that that's something that you just don't get. Like, that's natural. That's real. That was dunk. And you can't duplicate stuff like that. Talking to Thompson, you can tell. Chris Duncan's seat at the table will remain empty no matter who fills it. Dunk should be here. He, he should be breaking down Cardinals games and he should be, you know, in, in the booth. Like he had such a, a, a great career a, ahead of him and um, yeah, I'm just, just going to miss being around him. But most of all, he'll miss being able to make that call. I'd call him up like, man, how you doing? And he'd answer quickly. He's like, how are you doing? How are the kids? Like always want to know about you and, and always caring about you. And that's who he was. Now, part of Chris Duncan's remarkable style on air was his own dictionary of phrases he created. Former teammate Brad Thompson tells me the night he heard that Chris had passed, he went home after the Cardinals broadcast and popped open a can of man soda. And friends of Dunk will remember that that was one of his playful phrases for beer. <laughs> he had some good ones. <laughs> he did. And he, he stopped by the station several times. I think I've heard other people say Genuine is the word that comes to mind. Absolutely. Brad said, you know, he comes from a royal family of baseball sure, with his, his father. Dad, yeah. And uh, and he, of all people, could have probably just coasted along and probably been a part of the Cardinals organization. But he said he was one of the hardest workers, and that's what really stood out to him. Yeah, says a lot about him. Thank you, Chris.